Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. Welcome to Anderton's Dakota Chicken in England. Where? England. I've never heard of it. Um, and today uh, we are having some fun with some new pedals. Pedals? Should we call these pedals? I suppose they are pedals, aren't they? Well, they're floor pronouns, aren't um, they? They are from uh, the wonderful, lovely people at Victory Amplification, also in England Shire. Um, and that very clever man and a good friend of ours, Martin Kidd. The Santa Claus of Shred. Has invented something that I think it's fair to say might not have been invented before. Right. Just throwing it out there. Um, so these are, as Chap has just alluded to, preamp pedals um, that can be used in a completely standalone mode to just plug a guitar in, take the output into the front of your guitar amplifier and play guitar with. Or you could take a, an output into a, a, a cab sim, a two notes cab sim, or a, uh, what was that other good one we had the other day, the uh, GFI Cab Zeus or whatever. Anyway, loads of different ones of those and record into your DAW. Or, as we are demonstrating today, and possibly where I think these will be most popular, is its transformative mode. I've just made that up. But what is it? <laughs> transformative you put mode it in an amp. Uh, basically means you, you can see we've got four cables coming out the back of this. So what we're doing is we're plugging the guitar into one of these preamp pedals. We are utilizing the effects loop of the amplifier too. And what we've done is we've taken a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe here. And again, you can do this with any amplifier with an effects loop. Fender Hot Rod Deluxe with no buttons on the, the pedal we're hearing whichever channel you want from the Hot Rod Deluxe. Like that. As soon as I engage this though, the guitar signal is routed so that it bypasses the preamp on the guitar amp you're doing and goes straight into the power amp return. Uh, and then, depending on which pedal we use, we've either got the two channels from the Kraken. What are you laughing at? It's just all of our inappropriate humour is, is immediately disarmed because we're being watched by a lady. Oh, I see. So I would have said it's gone out of hole one into hole two. But you automatically, can't. Automatically. No. But you can't do that. We're not doing it. We don't do that anymore, Rob. We're, we're, we are, we're, we're new men. <laughs> um, so, uh, so depending on which pedal you've got, now you guys are probably familiar if you've watched this channel for long enough, you'll know that we're big fans of the Victory Amps and that they make a, a crack and amplifier which appeals to the, the modern higher gain player, particularly again guys with perhaps extended range guitars. They make the Countess, which is the sort of the, the Swiss army knife of, of the range, kind of does a bit of everything. And they make the Sheriff, which is your classic uh, vintage Marshall tones. Um, so as what, what effectively we're doing by combining the, uh, our Fender Hot Rod Deluxe with one of these three is transforming. Stealing transforming. a channel. Uh, that amplifier into either a, a Kraken or a Sheriff or a Countess or as close can be, you know, when you think about the types of valves and the power section that the amp that you're using I've got a question, Ali. Do it. Go. So you're, we're currently using this as a clean mm -hmm. tone mm -hmm. and it's dodging that and going mm -hmm. into the power amp. But I guess you could set that for a crunch, couldn't you? So you can have, when this is in bypass it mode... It could be anything. This, this isn't doing anything. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that amp is still does everything that that amp does. So when I said just stealing a channel, in, in a way you could have like a, a British crunch there and then ridiculous totally. high gain. And you're you're, ridiculous you're not high gain. stealing anything, you're adding. Yeah. So you're, you're simply, the way that this has been rooted, and that's why I think it's so clever, is, um, yeah, it doesn't take anything away from the amp that you've got. No. It simply It just adds. audio appropriates. Anyway, look. So let's do you some tones out of the Kraken. Uh, if you're familiar with Kraken, you'll know that on, on uh, the Kraken Channel 1 was always designed around Rabir's JCM 900 kind of tone and Kraken 2 was designed around his 5150 kind of vibe. So, with um, lots of tweaks. Especially. Yeah. So very, very simple to use. We've got a three band EQ that's shared across both channels. Uh, I know that one of the things that, uh, I mean, Martin's been designing these, I think, for at least a year. Uh, I know one of the things that, that he found was depending on the amp that you used it with, it had massive variations in how bright the pedal became when you, you switched it in, which is why it's got this um, three-stage brightness switch over here, which, which really is, that's about matching it to the amp that you're going to use it with rather than sort of fiddling with it to get a, to, you know, all the time. And to when we tone. were setting this up mm. and I was trying to find the right area for the mid-range to mm. sit, 
it was absolutely fundamental to get that bright switch in yeah. the right place to yeah. get the mid range yeah. to sit properly. But what, once it's in, I don't think you, you really use it unless you change amp. So anyway, let's go. So here is uh, our sort of Kraken esque gain one with the gain fairly low <clears throat> at a nine o'clock setting. And I'll start setting. backed off and then bring it in. Good man. that kind of tone where it becomes very very pick sensitive so softly picked you get those big clean or relatively clean a little bit hairy and then as you dig in <laughs> you can pick a bit or you can wind the gain in and it becomes more like a driven JCM 900 vibe sort of Gain two is uh, the 5150 side of the Kraken. As we said right at the beginning, by turning it all off, we're back to just using the Fender again, you know. <laughs> Jazz mode. Um, the reverb you're hearing, and again, what I like about this, the way that the, the routing is done on here, the reverb that you're hearing is still the reverb from the amp. So we haven't had to go and buy a separate reverb pedal or anything like that. Very, very cool. But this has a set effects loop? Well, it's... Yes, but we're using the effects loop as part of the four cable method. Right, okay. So if you wanted to add pedals to it, you absolutely can. Uh, you can have pedals in front of it. You can have pedals going through the effects loop, but you've just got to work out in the, the, the four cable routing method whereabouts to put the pedals. But yes, in essence, no problem Should at all. Should we um, play a different guitar as well? Absolutely. Can I use um, the one guitar that I think is one of the nicest in this room, but that you never use? Uh, yes. I think I know which one you're going to go for. But uh, what, to stay on this pedal or to go to another just pedal? Just to show off a different kind of guitar yeah, in this as well. Do because it, all, do it, do it. We all know. Yeah, absolutely. That this is an, Chapman guitars. You know, are obviously the best guitars in want... the world, but uh, <laughs> we get told off for using them. I don't them. want people to think that that's all I use. <laughs> you've gone from that tone to the little tiny <laughs> yeah so look so that's the kraken now you might be thinking why is it so massive um why is it so massively <laughs> honestly it's, just, it's like working with children here just asking why uh, it's, so it's because it's actually got real <laughs> valves in it um and this i think is probably the most uh, exciting and kind of ingenious element of this. So I know Martin is a massive valve fan. He firmly <laughs> believes in the power of the valve. Um, the problem being, of course, if you wanted to use conventional, you know, ECC 83 or 12AX7s, depending on which side of the Atlantic you live on, uh, uh, valves in a pedal like this, uh, it would become enormous to, to house them in, in here and... Tubes. Yeah, They're tubes, also very valves. Hot. Yes. So what Martin found on his uh, journey through tone, um, journey to the center of the tone of us, um, 
was a little valve called, I'm gonna to have to read this off the back, an EC900. Uh, as far as I'm aware, not using any other <clears throat> guitar Which audio is about equipment. eight times more powerful than an ECC83. Is it really? No, it's made for that. Oh, good. So, uh, I was going to say, where have you ever heard of that for? So the EC900 was, um, from what Martin was telling me, he basically just spoke to a valve supplier, said, can you just send me like a bucket load of mini valves? You know, send the me lots of, of bits. That I like, need to see all the bits you've kind got. Kind of like the end of a finger. You know, that's the size relative to, to an ECC. What kind of finger? Uh, well, one of my fingers. Probably that finger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, and there are four of them in here. And I know he went through dozens and dozens of different valves for working out which ones uh, were appropriate for, for uh, the sort of guitar audio and which ones were stable and which ones were quiet, which ones weren't microphonic, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, he settled on this valve called an EC900. And there are four of them, four valves in each of these pedals. Um, it's still an available valve, so you've got nothing to worry about in terms of, you know, what, what if I buy this and, and the valve blows up, you know, five years down the line. Uh, and of course, for all you valve aficionados out there, you probably know preamp valves are way, way, way more reliable than power amp valves any, are anyway, so that you, you won't get through the valves at any kind of rate of knots. But if they do break one, can they get one from Victory? Yeah, absolutely. It's a completely user serviceable bit. Um, and Anyway, there are four of them in here, and what he's managed to faithfully do is recreate the sounds of um, three of the most popular victory amps that they make, so the Kraken, the Countess, and the Sheriff. Back in a mode. Okay, so we're on the Countess now. Uh, again, all the functionality is the same. Channel one, though, on here is more, it kind of goes from the clean channel on the crown test through to the crunch channel on the count test depending on where you've got the gain setting and then channel two is the overdrive channel on the count test so uh, here's just the fender amp on its own Sounds good. That's yeah, really good. So the, the Countess, if you're not familiar, is the amp that uh, Guthrie Govan uh, typically uses when you see him. So again, if he's your kind of guitar hero, uh, but you can't afford to buy the amp he actually uses, maybe using this with one of your, your whatever amp you own might get you there. Um, last couple of things to tell you about features wise before we whiz on to the Sheriff, which is, I don't know if it's my favorite one. I think it might be. Um, it's a 12 volt DC input with a fairly high draw. This, this is probably my only, I suppose it's a minor criticism of, of, of the range, but not a lot you can really do about it when you're doing valves. You're unlikely to find one of those pedal multi-power supplies that will give enough juice for one of these. So sure. if you had this idea you were gonna put it on a board with a load of other pedals and, and run it off of one supply, you're probably not gonna be able to do that. You're probably always gonna to have to have its own supply That's for, for that. all three pedals, not just this one in particular? That's for all three. Okay. Yeah, absolutely, for all three. But you can put batteries in this as well. You can't put batteries in it. Um, then the other thing which I thought was cool, I guess some people will be concerned, 
well not concerned, but some people may not want to use this kind of on the floor as a pedal. There's always an element of if you've got valves, people sort of going, oh, I don't want to, you know, I don't like the idea of stomping on it all the time or whatever. I don't know if that's necessarily a big concern, but uh, if for whatever reason, um, the best thing for you to do is to leave this on top of your amplifier and then you just want to have a, a separate two button foot switch on the floor, like a like the kind of two button foot switch you oh. get with a guitar amp, there is a remote switch output for it on the side. So you could absolutely have this just sat on top of your amplifier, little two button foot switch on the floor. Maybe you're worried about kicking the knobs when it's on the floor or something. I'm more worried it's about not being able to turn the switches on because there's a bar in the way. Well, the, the bar is there to stop your um, dainty little out. feet uh, from touching those. But yeah, you, you've obviously, you, you know, you can't just literally you got, you got to be You've got to be stealthy toed. A little bit stealthy toed, like an elf. Yeah? <laughs> Roll the dice. What kind of elf? I don't know. Dark or... Uh, Always dark. Or woodland. Um, or woodland. Either. Whichever one you like. So look, these are great. They, uh, we're going to switch over to the, to the sheriff now. Uh, actually, there's one more thing I'm going to show you, which I think is super cool. I've never seen this done before. Watch the LEDs, because this is what happens to tell us that the valves are warming up. Are they doing it? Yes. It's, like, it's like Christmas. So the little your, flashy thing that's happening is telling us basically that the valves are warming up and when they go solid, uh, that means the unit's ready to use, which is kind of <laughs> cool. There we go. So we're on the Sheriff now. Um, volume one and volume two is perhaps the other way around to how you would think it, but just go with the lights. So green for the cleaner kind of Marshall tones, red for the gainier Marshall tones. <laughs> I need, I need to Les pull it up. Thought you might. Give me that S. There you go. It's mine now. It's mine now. Let's see what this sounds like. Here we go. Had so, to change the, the brightness setting for the Les Paul because it was just yep. a little bit darker. But So there you go. That's <clears> the, that is the new V4 range from Victory. Currently, as, and as far as I'm aware, if you're wondering why there's no uh, Red Dwarf and no, um, what's the other one, the Duchess in there, it's because both of those are single channel amplifiers and the whole purpose of these is to do the, the two channel amplifiers. But who knows what's coming in the future? Um, we haven't told you how much these are, uh, so if you're still listening now, well done. Um, these are insanely well priced for a British built all valve uh, preamp pedal. These are 349. Wow. 349, including VAT. I didn't know that. Uh, including VAT, free power supply, and free shipping from Anderson's UK. Um, That's really good. I think they sound cool. And they're um, made in England. Made in England. I'm sure there's going to be. Uh, Hopefully Victory have done some videos on their own channel where you can see what it sounds like just plugged straight into an amplifier. I'm pretty sure when Martin was um, talking to me about these, he was saying that on their channel, 
what they're using is the is the uh, is the Duchess, the V40 Duchess, to kind of show you how, if you own one of those amplifiers, how you can kind of transform it into a, a Kraken or a Sheriff or a Countess with one of these. We decided we'd use it with the Fender Hot Rod because I know hundreds of you have you know owned that amplifier, and it's a great way of showing how you can kind of completely transform that amp into something else. Thank God. <laughs> well, I like it. You're not a big fan, are you? But no. it, yeah. so there you go. Any questions? Any questions? Uh, Do you want no. to play us out? Yeah, actually, um... everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.